Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the price of Bitcoin. Now, there's also pretty important news that is coming coming along in the cryptocurrency space. So we'll be looking at all the news that has come up as well within this video. But guys, remember, age is just a number, but so is the price of Bitcoin. So let's jump into the chart of Bitcoin. Now, if you watched my update yesterday, we were forming this descending triangle on the price of Bitcoin, which I mentioned in TA, it has a higher probability of breaking towards the upside. Now, of course, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is just my own personal TA only. It could be right, it could be wrong. So I always suggest to look at different analysts and then come to your own conclusions with the stuff that you learn through my videos, right? So that's that's what I would highly suggest. Now, we are breaking towards the upside. And if you're in my Telegram chat, which is absolutely for free, I did update you guys here when we broke towards the upside. And I did mention that the 25.3K, 25.2K range is very important levels that we must be on the lookout for. Of course, Bitcoin is currently choppy because there's just a lot of stuff happening, but I can now adjust this pattern that is forming. I can adjust it a little bit more, but now it looks like we're forming a bullish pennant, which is very nice because of course, bullish pennants uh, do usually tend to break towards the upside. So boom, 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 uh, and then usually it breaks towards the upside. So this is pretty, pretty nice. And if we do tend to break from the upside from this level here, then it could be awesome. We just need a lot of volume because we do have a lot of resistance at the level we're at currently. So with volume, if we break towards the upside, potentially with a retest, which would be ideal in my opinion, but sometimes it doesn't end up retesting at all, then my next level would be $29,155. But that would be insane, right? But first, we do need to get above this prior swing high and the level that we're at right now to see a confirmation like this. But of course, my downside target also remains because these things can break towards the downside because because uh, symmetrical triangles, if you ignore this bullish um, movement to the upside, symmetrical triangles do have a 50-50% chance of breaking up or down too. But my downward level target would be this level over here, the 22,650 level, because that's where we see most of the price hitting on the four hourly and the daily chart. As you can see, we see price hitting there too. But uh, if not, and we break towards the downside, then it will be this ascending channel uh, support at 29, $21,000 and $900 range. So these are the two points that I'd be looking at as targets for Bitcoin. However, if I delete this right on the daily chart, we are also seeing a formation of a potential bull flag. Now, of course, bull flags are pretty, pretty important because they are very bullish. Uh, it's a very bullish pattern, right? Uh, and especially on a daily time frame, which is a more relevant time frame compared to lower time frames, this is very nice. So if we do have a bull flag situation, Situation, then of course, if we pump out with volume towards the upside, potentially with a bounce, then my next level of target is 29.15k because that is the very important level uh, that we must come to. As you can see, we have multiple touches on the weekly chart. But again, I am emphasizing on this. On Bitcoin, we are at a very important level as we are because currently we are, you know, bouncing around this weekly channels uh, resistance, and we are bouncing on the we're bouncing around around the resistance of this ascending parallel channel that we have been forming since the 16th of Jan of this year. But guys, yeah, that is Bitcoin. So if I look at the S&P 500, the S&P 500 is rebounding uh, primarily because of the Credit Suisse news. Now, Credit Suisse, which is one of the biggest banks in the world, uh, it said that, you know, it had some potential issues, etc. And that is why briefly the markets did sink a little bit. However, the Credit Suisse shares rose over 30% at market open after the bank said it will borrow up to $54 billion from the Swiss national. Bank. Now, this would have been a catastrophe and there was so much fud because, of course, Credit Suisse is one of the biggest banks in the world. And if that fails, all right, then it's over. It's over. But potentially this is good for Bitcoin. In fact, I saw Watch Your Guru post something very funny. Uh, someone's put a truck right in front of Silicon Valley Bank and said, buy Bitcoin and be your own bank. I mean, it's so true. It's so true. And people are coming to the realization of this, right? The retail traders, uh, the retail people and institutions will realize that instead of just keeping my money in the bank, right, I just keep it in Bitcoin and it's safe. I, it's mine, right? So people will come to the realization of this pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, it will take some time. But these are the right steps that are being taken. And also, I want to talk about the interest rates, too, because uh, the interest rates now are expected to be either zero or 25 percent. Now, the reason is if they continue to raise the interest rates, then 
Of course, the collapse of the banks are terrible, and this is because of the treasury bonds. And if they increase more the interest rates, number one, the treasury bonds will reduce in, in its value, and people will not begin to, will not borrow money from the banks that could cause banks to go under. So of course, if they continue to raise interest rates, it will be absolutely terrible. The European Central Bank, they did rise it by uh, 50 basis points, which is not nice. Uh, but other news that I wanna talk about is that the, the US uh, is could be injected up to $2 trillion into the US banking system to prevent other banks from failing as well. Now, this in the short term is, of course, very nice to prevent immediate failures. And this would prevent banks having to immediately liquidate assets to cover the depositors money when people want to withdraw their money. However, this is not a long term solution and will implode at some point, right? So this is not very good at all. That's, you know, personally, I do think Bitcoin could have a massive bull run if people uh, begin to realize this, right? But this will be super interesting to see what happens, especially with Bitcoin. So I'm super, super excited personally, and I am DCA and currently every single day into Bitcoin. Now, other news. Yeah, so BlackRock CEO says more bank seizures could occur going forward because of inflation continuing to persist. Now, this is exactly what I mentioned, you know, you know, if the Fed continues to increase interest rates and the banks, you know, uh, continue to have FUD, then this could potentially happen uh, because if the economy goes badly, right, then the assets of the banks are also going into the negative and therefore they cannot cover the money of depositors. So this will be pretty interesting to see what happens. But of course, these are my analysis into Bitcoin. You've already seen it. Uh, and these are the updates on the latest news in the space. But guys, thanks so much for watching. That is it for me today. Again, thank you so much for everyone that watches the videos. Please do leave a like if you do enjoy them and subscribe if you haven't already. But guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video very, very soon. So take care, guys, and bye bye.